Okay, so for the forms of business organization, and um, and for the organization and management for today, we're going to discuss is the forms of business organizations and the types of business according to its activity. And uh, this will be for the gas and ABM. And uh, fortunately, this topic is also um, chapter, I guess, chapter four and five of the five N. Okay, so in one discussion, di ba, natamaan natin yung dalawang yun. Okay, so let's discuss. And all of, all of us have a dream business in our mind as an ABM students or the gas students as well. So I guess uh, you also want to build or, your own business and you have the strength to build a small business on your own, right? So sino, di po, sino dito ano na, nagbebenta na? Or parang meron silang kahit small businesses or small business sa bahay. And wala pa, wala pang may ano, wala pang may small business. Okay, so si Edrelyn Salindayo, meron siyang small business sa kanya. Okay? So, consider the form of business you are going to build in the future. So, but before that, ano nga ba yung mga form of business? Yan. And then plan on how many co-owners co do you have or do you want to have and what products and services you are going to offer and how much capital you will need. Okay, so let us consider no, kung ilang bang co-owners yung gusto natin or gusto ba natin tayo lang or we can invite all our friends. And, and then uh, what, type, what types of, of business, products or services ba? Ayan, and then kung magkano ba yung capital na kailangan natin. So here we have to differentiate the various of forms, various forms of business organizations, and then identify the different forms of business organizations, and then enumerate the characteristic of each business organization. Okay. So imagine that you are starting your own business, and in and in this activity, plan essential details of the business that you need to decide on first. Think of your dream business and how you want it to operate. And yeah, uh, for your self-assessment, you can fill out the table presented and answer the guide questions that follow. Okay, so you can just type in the chat box, no? Kung ano ba yung magiging nature ng business natin? Ano nga ba yung nature? Um, selling of goods or uh, product or services? Number of owners? Gusto mo ba ikaw lang? Ayan. And then organization size, like kung magkakaroon ka ng empleyado, ilan kaya? And then starting capital and then sources of capital. And pwede yung ipon mo and then pwede ka naman mag-loan sa, sa banko. Ayan. Okay, so why do business owners need to carefully select forms of business organizations they will establish? Yan. Bakit kaya? Bakit kailangan nating um bakit kailangan nating alamin no kung ano ba yung form of business organizations na kailangan nating i-establish dun sa napili nating business? Okay. So, business organizations can be classified according to their organization uh, ownership structure, business activities, and asset size. Okay. So, first, for our um, forms of business organization, we have the following. First, the sole proprietorship or the single ownership or single proprietorship. Okay. It is the simplest and easiest form of business organization to establish and it is owned by only one person. Okay, so I guess yung kay Edrelyn Salindayaw, it is a sole or single proprietorship. Am I right? Ayan. Okay, I guess it is, no? So sole proprietorship are regulated by the DTI, Ayan. Department of Trade and Industry. So the advantage 
the advantages and disadvantages here. Yan, the ease and co cost of formation. Yan, yung advantage niya ay yung ease and cost of formation, distribution of profit, direct control to the business, and tax benefits. Okay, so for the ease and cost of formation, syempre isa ka lang naman. So hindi ganun kahirap mag-form ng, uh, hindi, hindi, hindi ganun kahirap i-form yung organization na yun. Kasi wala ka namang dapat i-consider dahil mag-isa ka lang naman. For the distribution of profit, hindi ganun kahirap kasi isa lang naman yung pagpupuntahan ng profit kundi sa'yo lang, di ba? And then direct control to the business. Since ikaw lang naman yung owner, you have all the rights for the decision and for the management of, the, of that business. So you don't need to consult your partner kasi wala ka namang partner. And then you don't need to um, uh, consider the opinions or suggestions of other people kasi ikaw lang naman yung may-ari ng business. And then for the tax for the tax benefits sa lang lahat mapupunta yon kasi ikaw lang naman yung nag-iisang may-ari. For the disadvantage, unlimited liability. When we say kasi liability parang mga obligations to no. Obligasyon. So, unlimited liability um since ikaw lang naman yung may-ari, lahat ng possible na problems, ikaw lang yung magiging liable doon. Wala nang ibang sisisihin. So kung malugi man ang business, ikaw lang naman ang masisisi kasi ikaw lang naman yung may-ari. Ganun. Difficulty in raising funds. Yan. Since ikaw lang naman yung may-ari, uh, yung possible na funds na kailangan mo or yung capital mo, sa'yo lang naman manggagaling. Okay? So wala kang kasamang, wala kang kasama sa mag-aambag no? kasi ikaw lang naman yung may-ari. Lack of business continuity. So normally, pag mga sole proprietorship or single, um, uh, more likely parang mas mabilis magsara yung business. Or um, yun, most likely, may kiling panahon lang yung business na yun. Okay? Difficulty in attracting employees. Ayan, um, since yun nga, single proprietorship lang siya, So, yung ibang, kadalasan kasi sa mga employees, mas kinoconsider nila yung pagpasok sa corporation kasi mas malaking company yun. Okay? And then, dahil nga lack of business continuity, hindi siya masyadong kinoconsider ng mga employees kasi, syempre, ikaw as an, as an employee, you, you'll consider um, yung may business continuity para, syempre, tuloy-tuloy din yung sweldo mo. Okay? The next one is the partnership. Okay, it pertains to two or more individuals sharing the ownership. Okay, so hindi lang naman to dalawa, no? Parang at parang at least ata um uh, para din siyang pwedeng maging kasi dami rin ng corporation, but later we'll discuss kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng corporation sa partnership. So two or more individuals sharing the ownership. The owners of this kind of agreement are usually call, called partners. Okay? So this can be two or more. Kahit kasing dami pa yan ng owners din ng corporation. Okay? So partnership are strictly reg regulated by the Civil Code of the Philippines and the SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission. And partnership in a general... Uh, there are two types of partnership this can be the general and limited partnership in a general partnership partners are liable for the partnership debts up to the personal property while yung under limited partnership ayan the liability of the limited partners is only up to his actual contribution or investment of the partnership so pag yung partnership nyo ay general at yan ay nalugi pati yung personal property nyo eh pwedeng maging ano um pwedeng isama sa mga liquidations or ipambabayad doon sa mga uh, naging liabilities nyo. while pag sa limited partnership nang naman kung magkano lang yung ano nyo, kung magkano lang yung naging contribution ng mga partners na yun hanggang doon lang yung liability okay so the advantages here Actually, meron pa yung ano eh, mga uh, limited partners and then um, general partners then But yeah, uh, it will be discussed din naman for the higher year. Okay, so for the advantages and disadvantages of the partnership, 
first more sources of capital. Ayan, so unlike ng single, di ba, marami tayong source of capital, maraming pwedeng mag-ambag doon sa business mo. Shared responsibility, ayan, pwede kayo magkanya-kanya ng, um, ng pagmamanage. Kung baga, kung pwede kayong iba-iba kayo ng specialty, for example, ikaw magaling ka sa human resource, and then yung other partner mo magaling sa marketing, and then yung other partner mo magaling sa accounting. So you can do that. No? Hindi lahat ng responsibility na sa isang tao lang. Losses are shared, no? So, so kung meron kayong liabilities, uh, depende doon sa napag-usapan ng partners. Ayan. So, yung liabilities, this can be, um, uh, parang yung, yung losses nun, this can be shared, no, to the partners. So, depende yun sa kasunduan ng partners. So, this, uh, yung ibang partners equal yung distribution or yung shared ng liabilities. Yung iba naman, ang gusto nila, kung magkano lang yung inambag nila, yun lang din yung magiging liabilities. Okay? So, depende yun sa uh, agreement ng mga partners. Varied skills and decisions. So, so iba-ibang tao nga, ibang-ibang tao, so maaaring iba-iba din kayo ng specialties and skills and iba-iba kayo ng ideas. So, magkakaroon ng uh, mas malaking improvement. no Okay? So, juridical personality. And then the next one is the disadvantage limited life. Yan daw hindi naman siya ma uh, kubaga hindi naman siya ganun ka kabilis magsara pero may limit may limit pa rin yung ano nga. Kubaga parang um parang I guess parang magkasara pa rin pa rin to depende doon sa law ng bansa na yon. Parang 25 years ata. Kasi ang corporation kasi 50 years. Okay, so yun, sa higher year, you'll know, no, pag meron na kayong law subject, you'll discuss about it naman. Difficulty in transferring ownership. Ayan, so syempre, marami kayong um, owners nung partnership na yun. So for example, merong namatay na partner. So how it, how it will be distributed. So another computation na naman yun. So for example, may nag-quit na partner. Ayan, so... Um, uh, madidissolve yung partners, partnership na yun pag may isang nag-beat and then how it will be distributed naman about uh, among the partners. Okay? So, merong difficulty no, in transferring ownership. Profit will be divided. So, syempre, dahil nga marami kayong partners, mahirap i-distribute yung uh, magkakaroon ng parang may competitions pa in distributing the profit. So, again, just like the losses for the profit, Depende rin sa agreement ng partners. This can be distributed um, equally or uh, this can be um, distributed um, depending on the contribution. No? So, iba't ibang factors pa kung ano yung gusto nilang i-consider when dividing the profit. Okay? This agreement among pa partners, of course, merong iba't ibang skills and decisions and ideas. So, more likely magkakaroon or mag-a-arise yung disagreement among partners. Okay? So, maaaring hindi kayo magkasundo kung ano bang decision yung gagawin nyo or um, kung para magkakaroon ng misunderstanding. So, that will arise no, pag sa partnership. Okay? Disadvantage. Disadvantages, despite partnership businesses sharing responsibilities among owners, general partners, uh, general partners still face unlimited liability. So, di ba, uh, like yung sabi ko kanina, we have two different um, partners. No, we can, uh, it can be the general or the limited partners. So, yung part, limited partners, depende lang kung ano yung, uh, kung ano lang yung ambag nila. Yung general partners naman, up to their personal um, property. No? Depende no, kung gano'ng kalala yung liability ng business na yun. If the business incurs several financial losses and its assets are not enough to pay creditors, the general partners are personal, personally liable to the said obligations. Okay, so kunyari kung ano ka, kung, kung risk taker ka naman, no, you can uh, be the general partners. Kasi syempre pag ano naman, pag nag, nag, nagkaroon naman ng profit, no, for example, ang kasunduan natin, 
uh, kung gano'n meron kayo, meron, sa partnership na to may limited and general partners. So, di ba, pag limited, kung gano'n lang kalaki yung contribution mo, gano'n lang din kalaki yung makukuha mong profit. Okay, so kunyari gano'n yung agreement. So, kunyari, for example, um, 100,000 yung 100,000 yung ano yung partner part um limited partner 1 tapos 50,000 naman yung limited partner 2 okay pero ang kinita naman ng ang kinita naman natin for this month is 500,000 okay so ang contribution noon kunya 100 yung um kunya kumbaga kung, kunya 100 yung ano mo yung uh contribution mo. So 100 lang din yung makukuha mong ano income. So the rest 'yon, yung the rest na 'yon, maaaring mapunta sa general partners. Okay? So again, depende rin to sa agreement ng mga partners. Okay? So again, type types of partnership according to the to the liability, general and limited partner, according to the nature and contribution, capitalist and industrial. So pag capitalist, um syempre pera, pera yung pinangambag nila doon. While yung industrial, skills and knowledge yung inambag nila. So pwede ka pa rin maging partner kahit wala kang pera. As long as skilled ka and then um sobrang talino mo and you have all the idea and then yung isa naman, uh, hindi naman siya ganun katalinuhan, pero may pera naman siya. Yan. So, parang nag-spa kayo together, no? So, syempre, ikaw wala kang pera, pero may knowledge ka. You still need the money of the other people. So, we can put up a partnership. Okay? So, the uh, nature of the contribution, we have the capitalist and industrial. Okay? Actually, meron pang, ano yan, industrial capital. No? Bukod sa matalino ka na, meron ka pang pera, no? You can be the industrial capital partner. Okay? According to the knowledge by the public yeah and then ostensible and then secret actually may ano pang other term yan no yan so yung ostensible ito yung alam ng buong madla na isa kang partner ng business na yun and then yung secret um ito yung parang feel nila uh, hindi ka na parang hindi ka pina public no parang relasyon lang no ano ba kayo ostensible or secret partner yung hindi ka hindi ka pina flex ng ano ng business na yun Okay, kumbaga secret partner ka. Ah, uh, kumbaga you do the, uh, you do your job there pero uh, meron kang ano, parang discreet ka or um sinesecreto ka no. I guess for the ano, for uh, the other reason naman. Yeah. So yan, according to the knowledge of the public, we have the ostensible and secret. Ah, yeah. Okay, gets ba natin? <clears throat> according to the connection with partnership, real and nominal. Ayan. So, pading, uh, when we say parang accounts din to sa ano, accounting, like um, parang meron kang time na hanggang ano ka lang, hanggang this, ano ka lang, this, uh, when we say pag real kasi, permanent ka, permanent partner, and then pag nominal, temporary partner. So, parang may kontrata ka lang, no? Um, for this year ka lang, ano? For this year ka lang partner, ganun. Okay, na parang relationship lang, real and nominal, pang temporary and then pang permanent, ganon. And then ostensible um, for the for the um, publicity or public in the eye of the public, you are the partner. And then merong secret or discreet or pinatago. And then sa capitalist and industrial, may pera ka, ito naman matalino, may skills. And then general and limited. Um, yung liability niya depende sa ambag niya while in general hanggang sa personal property niya uh, yung liability. Okay, nag-gets ba natin? Any questions regarding types of partnership? Yan, actually, pwede rin types of partners. Okay, so I guess wala naman tayong questions and naintindihan naman natin. So let's go now uh, to the corporation. So this form has a legal entity that is separate and distinct from its owner, commonly known as juridical personality. <clears throat> okay, so ito parang pag may corporation, may sadili siyang buhay. No? Unlike yung partnership, um, kung ano mang mangyari dun sa partnership na yun, um, parang kayo din yun, no? 
while yung corporation kasi parang nagkakaroon na siya ng sariling buhay. Separate yung buhay niya sa buhay ng um, ng owners. So meaning, yung partners, sa partnership, kung may mag-quit na isa, maaaring masara na siya. No? And then you'll just have to create another partnership. While sa corporation, kahit mamatay pa yung mga owners ngan kahit uh, mag-quit pa yung iba at maghirap, buo pa din yung corporation. Okay, nagets pa natin. So merong juridical personality or parang another um parang may buhay, no? may sariling buhay yung business. So a corporation can have a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 15 owners who are called shareholders. Okay, ownership of the shareholders is divided into shares of stocks. Okay, so the difference between the partnership, yung partnership kasi, yung capital nila ay galing lang sa, ano, sa ambag ng mga partners. While yung corporation, kaya sila nakakapag-put up ng business kasi nag, um, nag-release sila or nagpa-publish sila ng shares of stocks. Meaning, lahat ng bumini ng shares of, uh, shares of stocks na yun, pwede maging owners, no? Okay? So actually, hindi lang naman maximum of 15. Actually, madami, no? I think, ano lang to, yung, yung kinutukoy na ano na 15 is the main or the major shareholders, up to 15 person. Okay, nagets ba natin? So ang pinaibahan lang ng partnership, ang corporation kasi may stocks. Yan. Kung baga, yung... Um, yung capital nila in, is in the form of share of stocks. Okay? At may sariling buhay yung corporation. So, corporation are strictly regulated by Corporation Code of the Philippines and the SEC. So, advantage, greater source of funds. Siyempre, kahit sino, bum, pwedeng bumili ng shares of stocks and then you consider the owner, no? pero not the major shareholders. Yan, for example, yan, nakabili ka ng stocks ng Jollibee and then you can call yourself as the owner of the Jollibee. Okay? Bili ka ng shares of stock pagpasok mo ng Jollibee. Tabi kayo, isa akong shareholders ng Jollibee. Okay? And then, limited liability. Transfer of ownership. Madali lang kasi dahil bibili ka lang ng shares of stocks. And then pag ayaw mo na, pwede mo nang ibenta yon. That's where you're going to transfer the ownership. Okay? Pag, pag ayaw mo na, benta mo lang yung stocks. Ikaw, yung pinagbentahan mo, yun ay magiging owner ng shares of stocks na yun. Okay? Limited liability, it's, it's, it is because may sariling buhay yung corporation. Okay, so kung ano man yung ano yung maging kung ano man yung liability na ma-encounter ng ng corporation, sa corporation lang yon. Hindi siya umaabot hanggang owner. Okay? Continuity of existence. Ayan, since corporation siya, magre-renew lang sila na magre-renew ng contract. For example, yung ABS-CBN. Para magre-renew lang sila na magre-renew. Parang every 50 years at ayun. As far as I can remember, either basta 50 years. Okay. Centralized management, since ang daming owners, and then usually, di ba, talagang may marami din tong employees. So, centralized yung management. No? Depende sa specialties nila, depende rin sa skills and experience nila. Okay. Disadvantage, complicated to form and operate. Okay, so pag nagawa kasi kayo ng corporation, napakadaming ano, napakadaming requirements and then parang may minimum ata na investment or capital na needed. Okay, medyo complicated siyang i-form. High cost of formation 'yun. So so aside from complicated siyang i-form, malaki parang expensive din siya kasi nga parang merong ano eh, um parang para makapag-put up ka ng corporation, merong required na na capital or investment strict government regulation so yan pag corporation pag corporation uh, mas mahigpit yung government or yung sec dito eh like um pag mga sole kasi or partners or partnership pag nagsasubmit sila ng financial statement nila sa BIR 
they don't need to provide cash flow. Pag corporation, um, kailangan nilang mag-provide ng cash flow statement. And so, so for the corporation, medyo strict ang government sa kanila. Okay, so syempre, um, dun sa partnership, meron din tayong types of corporation. So according to to purpose, meron tayong for-profit and non-profit. Ano ba yung mga example ng mga non-profit? For example, yung mga churches, school, and uh, mga charities. According to the nationality, this can be domestic and foreign. So we are we are already familiar uh, to that. Nang pag-foreign, syempre other country. Pag-domestic, dito lang sa Pilipinas, no? And according to the extent of membership, pwedeng open and close. So pag-close, Meron kasi mga corporation na hindi nila pinapublic yung shares sa public. No, pag open naman, um, pinapublic nila yung shares ng stocks nila. So pag uh, pag close, parang ito yung mga ano eh, family na corporation na we're in family lang or relatives lang yung pwedeng bumili ng shares. Yan or ayo, especially sa mga bagong corporation or yeah, mga ganun. Um, ano sila, parang madalas close sila. Yan. Basta hindi pa na pa-public sa PSE or um, sa, stocks, sa stock market. Yan, nasa close yan. And then yung open yan, kahit, kahit um, ordinaryong tao pwedeng bumili ng shares of stocks or stocks or shares. So why is it important to consider the number of owners before you establish your uh, business venture? Ayan, ano kaya, bakit kaya importante no, na kinoconsider natin yung number ng owners? So yun, syempre, depende sa business natin. Okay, so kaya na maliit lang naman yung business natin, bakit kailangan natin ng 100 na, ano, na owners or 50 na owners, no? Na if we can do it that on our own, no? And kung malaki yung company natin na gusto natin itayo, bakit naman mag-isa lang tayo? So depende yun sa um, business na gusto mong itayo. <clears throat> okay, next naman, no? So we have already discussed yung forms of business organization. So again, it is the single, the partner, partnership, and then corporation. So, do you have any question regarding that? Naintindihan naman natin yung pagkakaiba ng tatlo? Okay, just type yes sa chat box no, before we proceed to, ako, to the activities. Okay. Let me know kung may malabo, ha? Okay, dapat as of this moment, you can already um, think of uh, companies or uh, local or inter international companies na single and then corporation and then um, partners, no? Partnership. Yan. Actually, available naman sila sa Google. <clears throat> 